Imagine being a regular Dutch citizen one day and a covert operative the next. This was the reality for Eric van Saben, a seemingly ordinary Dutchman who was recruited by the AIVD in 2007. The AIVD, the Dutch intelligence agency, saw something extraordinary in Van Saben. He was tasked with a mission of a lifetime. A mission filled with danger and intrigue. The target? None other than Iran's nuclear facility at Natanz. A name that would soon send shockwaves through the world of cybersecurity. This wasn't a regular mission. This was a mission that involved a billion dollar cyber weapon. A mission that would redefine the rules of international warfare. Little did Van Saban know he was about to play a pivotal role in one of the most dramatic cyber attacks in history. Hold on to your seats as we delve into this extraordinary tale of digital warfare, espionage and high-stakes sabotage. Van Saban's mission was clear. Infiltrate the Natanz facility and install equipment infected with the Stuxnet virus. The stakes were high, the operation was covert and the target was one of the most secure locations in the world. Yet, with an audacious spirit and a mind that could outwit the tightest security systems, Van Saben was the perfect man for the job. So, how did he do it? Well, it's a tale of cunning, stealth and technological wizardry. Van Saben, disguised as a technician, made his way into the labyrinthine underground facility. With each step, he was carrying a ticking time bomb that could cause unprecedented damage. The Stuxnet virus was no ordinary malware. It was a billion-dollar beast designed to hunt and destroy specific industrial systems. Once Van Saben installed the infected equipment, the virus was unleashed and it began its destructive work. It targeted the centrifuges, crucial components in the nuclear enrichment process. One by one, the centrifuges started spinning out of control, vibrating wildly and eventually self-destructing. The virus was so advanced that it even tricked the monitoring systems into reporting that everything was normal while chaos unfolded. But the sabotage didn't stop at Natanz. The Stuxnet virus, like a digital wildfire, spread to computers worldwide, causing havoc far beyond Iran's borders. It was a wake-up call to the world, a demonstration of how cyber warfare could cause real, tangible damage. Van Saben's operation was a success, but it was only the beginning. The ripple effects of this sabotage were felt globally. The world had witnessed the destructive power of cyber warfare and the rules of engagement had changed forever. The Stuxnet virus was not just a piece of advanced software, it was a weapon of mass disruption, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. This was the dawn of a new era in warfare, where battles weren't fought on land, sea or air, but in the vast invisible realm of cyberspace. The aftermath of the sabotage was monumental with worldwide ramifications, but back home in the Netherlands a personal tragedy was unfolding. In the political sphere, the Dutch government was left reeling, having been seemingly kept in the dark about their own agents' involvement in this international incident. The virus, meanwhile, had spread beyond the borders of Iran, infecting computers across the globe and even reaching a uranium facility in the Netherlands. The shockwaves of this cyber attack were felt far and wide, but the man at the center of it all, Eric van Zaben, was no longer there to witness them. In 2009, he tragically lost his life in a motorcycle accident. However, the suddenness of his demise sparked whispers of foul play. Could it be that Eric paid the ultimate price for his role in the sabotage? The ripple effects of the Stuxnet virus continue to be felt, but the man who unleashed it was no longer around to witness them. The international community was rocked by the Stuxnet sabotage, raising questions about the boundaries of cyber warfare. The shockwave reached far beyond the confines of the Natanz facility, stirring up a storm in the global political arena. Governments worldwide were left wondering, was this an act of war? The Stuxnet attack, while aimed at a specific target, inadvertently affected computers globally, raising alarm about the potential for widespread damage in future cyber attacks. Moreover, this incident sparked a debate about the ethical boundaries in cyber warfare and the need for international regulations. The Stuxnet sabotage wasn't just a covert operation, it was a turning point, an incident that showed the world the dark side of our interconnected digital era. It shifted the paradigm, emphasizing that cyber warfare can cause real-world damage and isn't just relegated to the realms of science fiction. The Stuxnet sabotage serves as a chilling reminder of the power of cyber warfare and the potential for devastating consequences in the wrong hands.